All right, it's Friday. It's almost it's seven twenty in the morning. Seven <laughs> twenty. Uh, we're about to head to the gym. It's like a little later than I would say our normal routine is, but it's a Friday. No early meeting. I have all my clothes on and I'm ready to go. So Jay's kind of like a flake with the gym in the morning. Um, usually I just have to go myself. Sometimes I can get him out to go with me. What is this? Maybe you want this? <laughs> and actually, where's the other girl? This is called the Lunar Natural Habitat. <laughs> Chase is all about So when I gym in the morning, I take this Buff Pump pre-workout. It combines the pump and the caffeine. And it tastes really good. I'm so used to dry scooping for so many years. But drinking pre-workout is actually pretty nice. did this the exercise of filming myself I filmed literally every workout which I've never done before in my life and I also brought a tripod like a little uh, phone tripod in so that I wouldn't bother anyone and yeah I'm proud of myself for that there yeah. were definitely times where I was like okay fuck this one like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show this one just because like I'm in a more crowded area but Whatever. Proud of myself. Yeah, How's your workout? It was fine. Boring upper body day. <laughs> oh god. Mallory looks guilty. Hello? Were you guys still in bed? Hi! Hi, <laughs> baby. Hi, Bubba's. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi! No poop! <laughs> you are oh, so God. cute. What? What? Alright, so I had to like rush to my laptop to do some work. Um, but I finally got a, a little bit of a break to film Jake taking a shower. Influencers in the wild, baby! <laughs> This is my life. Alright. You can't do right? No, I think so. Okay. First thing, you can way more often. This is the current one I'm using. I'll let this sit for a couple minutes and then we'll go into step two. Does that work? Yeah. This is also Jake taking my towel. Cute. Uh, I don't want you to see how big of a mess my desk is right now, but uh. Yeah, currently working here because it was like a later start day. Um, probably not going to the office or anything. Nice. All right, wrap this up and then I go to the works.
pretty normal breakfast. I've also been doing um, eggs and like a small like side salad and rice lately. Um, I don't have any more rice left. Um, so I went for oatmeal and I, I really enjoy oatmeal too. I didn't put the cheese in early enough so it didn't really melt. But here it is, not aesthetic at all. I cannot make food look aesthetic for the life of me. It's 10.15 right now. This is a pretty normal time for me to eat, especially when I'm working out in the morning. Um, days that I don't work out in the morning, I usually will wait until like 11 or 12, just usually when I have a break between meetings. Wait, I also want to say, Jake, do you want to repeat what you just said? He said he has love handles right now and he's chubby. He's like 5% body fat. Got a good couple of hours of work in. Um, I actually, and I want to stress that this is not a normal thing for me, um, but I am doing another workout today. I have a Pilates class. I uh, go to this with a friend, um, but also I do enjoy reformer Pilates. My opinion of Pilates, I think it is a great modality for me personally um, to get like core stability or to, I used to motivate myself to even work on my core stability. Um, I think it's something that I don't really get with my, or I don't really do with my normal training. Um, so it's a good supplement to that. I think in terms of muscle building, it is not the most efficient. Like you're not putting as much resistance on your muscles as you could with um, heavier weights. But with the principle of time under tension, you're like in some of these positions for very long amounts of time. Um, so you are still building muscle. The other thing too is it's a lower impact exercise. So if you are someone who um, cannot weight lift because of any like injuries or just like your mobility. Also, if you just like enjoy it, <laughs> then by all means, like do the exercise that you enjoy. Um, I think if you have very specific goals and like a very specific timeline, then you are going to need to be a little bit more specific with your training. Like I would definitely not say if you want to squat 200 pounds that doing Pilates is going to work well for you and building that type of strength. But if you want to hold a plank for like 10 minutes, by all means, it's still strong. And it's, um, yeah, I do whatever you, you want to do. I will also say though, I do really hate the long lean lines concept. I think it is harmful to be promoting that and when not everyone's bodies can look like that just because of your physiology. Um, I also think just like promoting that look as a goal um, kind of contributes more to this like thin, like white ideal of body type. That being said, you can have, you can want your body to look any way. And I don't think that is necessarily like a bad thing. I think you have full autonomy over your body. And if you want it to look a certain way, go ahead. Like that can be your goal. I am not going to judge you for your goal. I think it is important that we critically think about like why are some of these images our goals? Is it from years and years of like seeing it in the media and being like pushed down our throats via like billboards or like internet ads or anything? Like I think we definitely need to be conscious of some of that and maybe like question our own um, like body image goals. But in terms, 
I guess this is like a long way of saying I have nothing against Pilates. I don't necessarily like the long and lean body ideal type that maybe is attributed to it. Um, I don't like when teachers like push that, but I'm not saying you cannot want a long and lean body. That is not at all what I'm saying. You can <laughs> want whatever body you want. I am saying though, maybe be, maybe think critically more about why you are kind of leaning towards some of these bodies and whether it is a more like whitewashed, society driven ideal that you are being pushed towards. Um, but do, do what you want. You have control over your body. Do whatever you want. All right, I'm not gonna film. I'm not gonna film myself going to Pilates just because I am so late. I'm late literally every time. I don't understand. But you do have to wear these special socks. Um, this is also a, this is a Legree class, so it's like a very, uh, I guess, specific class based on mega reformer work. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna try to <laughs> run over now and get a good spot where I can hopefully have a mirror. <laughs> it's hard to do it without seeing yourself because of some of the cues. All right, just got back from Pilates. Um, was actually surprised because one of my other friends that I haven't seen in a while here yet, we like play phone tag a lot. Um, she ended up being there. So I was like staring at her like I, I feel like 10 minutes in, I like noticed that, oh, like, is that my friend? Um, but I was like staring at her, trying to get some like validation with her eye contact or something, um, which I did not get. But then the instructor at the end like said her name and I was like, yes, <laughs> I knew it was you. <laughs> but that was cool. Oh, thank you. Home is such like a great greeting from these little guys. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. Here, Mel is bringing me a toy to present me with. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> but yo, it was a fun class. It was a fun class, a lot of core work. I just want you to see how excited Kona gets when you use the high pitch weight. So now we're going after, um, I didn't film this, but I walked the dogs and I had this like negative encounter with a, with a Drug little, like, street, little street man. Um, we're going to the gym again to film some content. I'm trying to be better about filming more um, fitness style workouts and stuff. Let me say I see bitch. Um so fun fact while we've been here. I was filming Jake doing um, a med ball slam video for his YouTube channel and I think he broke his finger. I'm like 90% sure I broke my yeah. pinky. So uh, I guess this vlog is going to include us going to CVS and getting a split. Cool. Where would we be at? Um, these are feet stuff. This is... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. This one. Hey, which one's this is cheaper one, right? Um, I mean, it's only different by like 20 cents. Yeah, it's the same, right? What's the difference between this and this? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a hot and cold finger pack in there. And the, yeah, I'm gonna plug in that one. Hot belly sandwich up. 
pop belly. Pop belly. You go to the Starbucks sometimes too. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's just like so annoying. Uh, what am I gonna stick in my butt now? <laughs> Shut up. So we went to CVS. We also went to Whole Foods real quick. Picked up some rotisserie chicken for tonight, as well as some frozen fries. Health. Um, potato, and what potato wedges. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Um, potato wedges. Debating whether to do real fries or not real fries, no, but potato wedges. Debating to do Let's potato wedge. What do you mean? Let's put half of each oh. in. Why, have to, why do you have Damn, to this is why you keep them around. Has girlfriend, has side chick, just you can put them at the same time. Yeah. Good enough? <laughs> have cake, eat it too. But so now we're going to pick up brownies from this one little like paleo shop that we love so much. We actually tried to go to a different place yesterday to try something new and get a different brownie. And but moral it ended of the story? Yeah, moral of the story, we stick to fucked. what you know. We yeah. We tried something new. <laughs> Don't try norm. new things. Fuck that. Stick Overrated. With stick with what you know. Yeah. What you know? Oh, shoot. This is my first time ever filming. Secured the brownies. Really excited to eat this later. Yeah, you fucking got two. The yeah, okay. What makes <laughs> what makes more sense? If you buy things like a little bit more in bulk just so that we could have over the next couple days instead of going back here oh literally gosh. every day. You get versus just getting some more. No, we got two brownies each. And what ends up happening is you're like, I want one for tomorrow. Yeah, that's a I, normal I thing. I can't help it, and I eat both in the same day. But you don't need. And then need I feel overly full, and I yeah, lay but, down on my back and But you my only, you can only eat one, and then save the other one for tomorrow with me. I don't want to do that. I want both tonight because I'm not gonna be able to stop. I'm gonna have one. It's gonna be so delicious. Right, they're so good. If you cut it in half, it's almost like you had two brownies. No, it's They're not. They're so big. It's like a half a brownie if you cut it in half. Yeah. Made for you because you're a mouse. <laughs> ah, were we going to make it? I don't know. Ah. Oh, yeah, they can watch you run the red light. I made it through. I was halfway through. <laughs> in the Dude, the guy behind you went through. That motherfucker ran the red. Good for you, Lex. The most important thing is story about like the the five the five big mafia. Interesting. You're shaming me. You're not eating the you're brownies. Shaming me. You this said, is not shaming you. You said, oh, because you're Just fat curious. today. <laughs> you're shaming me. I mean, it remembers. It mm -hmm. was in the it was in the video this morning. For shame. I just want to say I was eating like I ate a part of my brownie and then I had popcorn after and then he was like, "Did you finish your you're eating all that? Like, how are you still hungry?" I did not. Say you that. literally did. I did not say that. You so kidding? I'm just I'm just saying the little the little things he does. Yo, to are keep you me kidding fit. me? Framing me right now. <laughs> you fat shame me. I come inside you. <laughs>